Hi, I'm Alex Jordan from Learn Color Grading and FilmSimplified.com and today we're going to be taking a look at a weird way of changing the look of your image. As we all know, images are basically a combination of red, green, and blue, at least in the world of filmmaking. And changing the mixture between red, and green, and blue can affect two things. First of all, it can affect your colors, and it can affect your exposure. Let's take a look how. I'm simply gonna come to this image here, and I'm gonna go to RGB Mixer. And now inside RGB Mixer, I'm going to hit this button that says monochrome. So now I ended up with a black and white image, big deal. However, while keeping the image black and white, I can change the mixture of red, green, and blue, or how prominent every color is, and this will have a profound effect on the exposure of the image. For example, let's say that on my black and white image, I have a blue sky, and I reduce the exposure of blue. Now the sky is mostly blue, so in my black and white image, the blue sky will become dimmer. Let's take a look at it. Now, of course, the sky is blue here, and now I have in my RGB mixer, now I'm controlling the red, green, and blue channel. And if I simply just bring the blue down, notice what's happening. I'm bringing the exposure down of the sky. Take a look again, I'm just gonna increase blue or bring blue down. And I'm ending up with a fundamentally different black and white image just by changing the mixture of the blue channel. So, I'm just going to bring it to this point here. Then I have red. Red will usually control people or, you know, skin tones. So, I'm just going to bring red down or red up. And notice how, I'm again, changing how my black and white image looks. Now, remember, this is still a black and white image. However, just by changing the mixture of the colors, I'm really changing the lighting of the image itself or how prominent certain parts are. So for example, I'm just gonna bring the red down and the blue up and notice how we're making the background more prominent because it's mostly blue or I can just bring the blue down and the red up making all the focus on the girl and I can tweak the green a bit here, great. Now, we like the black and white image, however, we want to reintroduce colors because we're not looking for a black and white image, we're just using this technique to tweak the lighting in our image. So, how do we get the colors back? If we simply come back and hit monochrome again here, we're back to our original image and nothing happened. So, I'm just gonna go back into monochrome, we have our new image, and this is where we need a layer node. A layer node simply works like layers in any layer-based system, like for example, uh, after effects or premiere pro or even the editing uh, in in davinci resolve so you just have the image on top of itself on two layers and we're going to be getting the exposure or the black and white information from one layer which is the layer we uh, affected here and we're going to be getting the colors from the layer on top so now i'm selecting my node here i'm going to come to nodes and i'm going to add a layer node so notice what happened. Now we have a new node added here. This is our new node. Now the new node is actually the layer on top. So if this was like a layer based system, node number three here, which is this node is going to be the layer on top. So this is the layer on the bottom and this is the layer on top. And this is simply a layer mixer that just mixes them both. However, because this is the layer on top, now we're only seeing node number three, which has no effects whatsoever. So the top layer is what's visible now. So in order to get only the colors from the top layer, I'm gonna come to layer mixer here, right click, go to composite mode and choose color. So the bottom layer, in this case, node number one is providing the luminance information and uh, the layer on top is providing the color information and they're mixed in this way so if i go back to uh you know to node number one and i change the output now see how i can see my changes just not in black and white this time with colors so for example i'm just going to bring the blue up and the red down and notice how we're changing the look of the image fundamentally like this was shot in a completely different day with completely different lighting or i can simply bring red up and bring blue down and now we have again a fundamentally different image and i can change the green so take a look at the original image and the new one okay this might not be the look you're after but it's very important to understand this technique so you can use it on your images again i'll come to this image here I'm an RGB mixer, monochrome, and I'm gonna simply go to nodes and add the layer node. And I'm gonna go to the layer mixer, composite mode, and color. And so far, nothing happens. But if I go back to my first node, the one that is responsible for 
the uh, luminance information, and I start tweaking my R and G and B, I'm going to end up with a fundamentally different image. Let's start with the blue channel, see how things are changing. The green, notice how the green is controlling the areas in the uh, back here, and I'm going to go to the red and see how I ended up with a fundamentally different look. Now take a look at the original image and the new one. Just by a very simple uh, tweak for the R and G and B channels, I need to increase saturation, and of course saturation is supplied by the node on top, which is node 3 here. So I'm just going to go to node 3, and I'm just going to increase the saturation, and take a look at the new image and the new one. The change is simply unbelievable, because what we're doing here is, is not like we're adding colors, we're changing the mixture of the colors that makes the actual luminance information in the image. Again, I just like the image again, so I'm just going to show you before and after, and we managed to do this in a very fast and easy way. So, uh, thank you again. Uh, if you like this, please visit us at LearnColorGrading and FilmSimplified.com. Thank you.